What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. So, I just wanted to make this video right quick. And just to let y'all know that I'm PlayStation for life. I'm not a fanboy. Okay? I'll never be a fanboy of anything. I'm a gamer. Before I'm anything else, I'm a gamer. That's what I do. I game. Everybody got their preferred console that they want to play on. Mine just happened to be the PS uh, PS4. But that doesn't mean I'm I'm a fanboy because I'll never be a fanboy. Because you know those you know what fanboys remind me of. Fanboys remind me of cheerleaders. They cheer for their console no matter what, and they damage control the hell out of it. You know, even though a console may have no games. Even though a console may not play right or whatever, and have issues and all, here's a, a a cheerleader to go and say, just some kind of damage control, just to, you know, just to be like, oh, well, you know, it's a minor problem and this and that, and, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a fanboy because fanboys are cheerleaders. Let's just say that. I'm having fun playing Destiny 2. I'm having mad fun playing Destiny 2 because the reason why is that Destiny 2 is a big improvement from the first Destiny. Some people may not see it. They call it Destiny 1.0, which in a lot of ways it is. But it's a major improvement. Major improvement. I'm having mad fun playing Destiny. Destiny 2, I mean. And, you know... It's, it's a lot easier to get gear. It's a lot easier to get weapons. It's a lot easier to get exotic weapons and stuff like that. You know, even after you played the campaign, you know, it's like you can go and play adventures. They got quests on, on the, uh, you know, on the different worlds and all. They got quests to do. They got adventures. They got uh, public events. All type of things to do. You'll never get bored of Destiny. Even if you were doing like the Crucible, the Crucible is is uh, is pretty much fun. You know what I'm saying? I like the Crucible. Um, the strikes, everything about it, it's like you get more loot, you get all type of goodies. I got more legendary Ingrams than I can tell you about. It's so easy to get gear, so easy. It's too easy, as a matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? Um. But uh, let me let me get on to the video because I want to talk about something. Angry Joe gave Destiny 2 a 6 and gave Cuphead a 10. I saw his review today and I said, what? How do you give Destiny a, a, a 6 and give Cuphead a 10? It was made by three people, y'all. By three people. I don't even know the developers' names or whatever, but it was made by three people. I heard the game is hard. They just, a lot of people can't even get past the tutorial. But here's good news. Xbox ain't got, you know, they didn't have any games for a while, and now they got Cuphead. And I know Fat Gamer and, and Drone Crusher, I know they're happy as hell about it because in their videos, that's all they kept talking about is, you know, how they wanted Cuphead and now you got Cuphead. But you can't tell me that Cuphead is better than Destiny 2, Angry Joe. You can't tell me that. I played the mess out of Destiny 2. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I looked at IGN uh, reviews and I looked at uh, GameStop GameSpot reviews, and they gave the game, like, I think GameSpot gave it a 9, and IGN gave it an 8.6 or something like that. Pretty good reviews, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I know Destiny is not a 10. I know it's not a 10. You know, Bungie done the best that they could to try to improve on the, uh, you know, try to improve from the first Destiny, which they did, you know? The bosses and everything, it's a lot of things you can do on Destiny 2, which makes it a whole lot better than Destiny 1. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I didn't like about um, 
you know, uh, what the, the Destiny 2 and all, wasn't the game itself, it was the bundles that, you know, Bungie wanted you to pay. Like, they want you to pay $90 for the game and for the expansion pass, and, ex and the expansion hasn't even came out yet. So I don't even understand what's, you know, what's that all about. And they gave you, uh, there was another, okay, there was a, the 59 the $60, uh, just the game itself, $90 for the game and the expansion, and there was a hundred some dollars, you know, um, I don't know what was that about, but I, I, I didn't like that. Just give me the base game. When I get the expansion, I'll pay for the expansion. Don't just do, you know, don't don't have me paying extra money for stuff that ain't out yet. Bungie, greedy, you and Activision, greedy asses. Anyway, I looked at Cuphead, and I, I have to say, you know, uh, I looked at a review on Cuphead, and I'm like, you know, it's, you know, I guess there's, there's a game out there for everybody. You know, I may love Destiny 2, and y'all may hate Destiny. There's a lot of people that might hate Destiny 2, you know. And some um, some people that love Destiny 2, some people that hate Destiny 2. Wait a minute, let me say that again. Let me say that again. It's a lot of people who like Destiny 2. It's a lot of people that hate Destiny 2, okay? Now... For those who are Cuphead fans, you know, you may say that Destiny 2 is better than uh, Cuphead. And it's those that's Cuphead fans, they say that Cuphead is better than Destiny 2. There's a game, there's a lot of, you know, there's different type of games for different type of people. But, Angry Joe, why would you give Destiny 2 just a 6? That game to me is way better. I'd rather play Destiny 2 any day over Cuphead. I'm not going to buy an Xbox One to go and play some damn Cuphead. A game that looks like it's made for kids. And it was only made by three people. Come on, man. That just makes no type of sense, man. That just makes no type of sense. I'm sorry. I'm not knocking people who like Cuphead. If that's your type of thing, that's your thing. But it's not for me. You know? I'll play Destiny 2 any day. Because I love it. I love the game. And, you know, uh, it's like I said, it's so easy to get exotic engrams. It's so easy to get exotics. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get that exotic engram, when you go to your vault, uh, it's in the collectibles. Like, it stays there forever. You know what I'm saying? All you have to do is get legendary shards. And you can get that, that exotic back. It stays there. That's the best thing about it, you know. You go to Zer on Fridays or whatever. Friday, I think he's there Friday through, like, I think Monday or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And you get an exotic, right? You got, like, let's say you got, like, 50 legendary shards, right? You go to Zer and you get an exotic. And once you get that exotic, you keep that exotic forever. You know, even if you broke the exotic down, it will be in your vault collectibles. And you can just pick it up again for some uh, legendary shards. That's the best thing. I mean, man, it's it's a lot like, you know, I guess there's a lot like Destiny 1, too. Because, you know, uh, as far as your exotic goes, they never go away on there, too. But anyway. Give Destiny 2 a try for those that haven't picked the game up. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. And if you are disappointed, the game wasn't for you in the first place. And, you know, if you're an Xbox fan, go on and get your Cuphead. Go on and get your Cuphead. And play the mess out of that game and be bored as hell. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I'm. It's just not for me. I'm not going to knock the game, but at the same time, it's not my type of game. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a different type of game they like to play. There's people that play my, uh, Call of Duty that won't play any other type of game. There's people that play a game like Battle Wages that won't play any other type of game. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a gamer. I play 
all type of games that looks good enough to play. And I have on my Xbox and on my PlayStation 4. On my Xbox, when I basically, when I had my Xbox, I was playing a lot of games there. I played a lot of games on my PS4, you know what I'm saying? And right now, I'm stuck to glue on Destiny 2. That's all I got to say, you know? Uh, I just got to say, you know, Angry Joe, I think you're wrong for, you know, giving it a 6. But I know you, you like a different type of game, you know? You like a different type of game with different type of genre, you know what I'm saying? You'll play other type of games, but you got a specific type of genre that you stick to. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. Whatever. Xbox got a got a game to play now. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It's the bear and I'm out. Peace.